guys, okay. Um, I am swapping to my phone because I actually really hate how my camera <laughs> makes me look. <laughs> but I hope that you don't mind that uh, I'm using my iPhone to film maybe most of the TwitchCon footage. Um, it's just a lot easier for me to film on my phone rather than my camera, to be honest. I never, I don't know, I prefer to use my camera for photos. Maybe it seems too official. Right now, it is September 11th. Uh, we are about seven or eight days out from flying to TwitchCon to set up uh, TwitchCon this year, September 20th to 22nd, 2024. Um, super excited for this. I just wanted to chat about a few things before we go into the vlog, I guess from a business owner perspective. This convention, I've been there as an attendee. Uh, I'll link the video from my 2022 experience as an attendee with friends. You know, I met a lot of friends through Valorant and streaming a couple of years back. It's gonna be a really nice experience to return, but this time at Artist Alley. Um, I'm a little bit afraid, I guess, you know, uh, I had never set up as big of a space as like a 10 foot by 10 foot corner space not even just like the inline space but the corner space so i'm just so excited to have prepped everything there's just like a few things that uh really helped me prepare first thing being just making sure just i guess the first thing would be valuing like my physical and mental health uh this is something that i consistently ignore as i'm sure as i'm sure a lot of artists do when you're preparing for a convention and stuff like that, it's super easy to just like leave it to the last minute, especially if you have a hard time like not procrastinating. Um, I'm someone who always does things last minute and partially it's because I know I can. So the, there's a problem there when you know you can push yourself to that limit. Uh, you know, you just tend to do that. However, this time, I think because of how busy August got for me, like I did I did two back-to-backs but then the second week was like a like a double so I was in Edmonton and I had friends fending for me in Vancouver uh, I realized just how tiring it was so this one I needed to make sure everything arrived on time that everything was set up in a way that a week out right now on September 11th I don't have to be running around and like I don't need to be worrying about stuff so I sent stuff way in advance I prepped stuff way in advance for all the, the new designs that I wanted to do I made sure that they were ordered by a certain time and I literally just used my google calendar for this when I have so much more time the week before I feel myself um relaxing more uh, or not relaxing but like the stress like I'm already I already know that I'm gonna be stressed so I don't want to stress myself out more, basically. Anyways, I'm going to be showing you guys just all the preparation and everything. Um, I have done most of the prep already, but uh, just from here onwards, what kind of things we're going to get up to. I have quite a few helpers helping me uh, at TwitchCon, so it's just going to be a really fun time. So enjoy the vlog. So if you scroll down on the Artist Alley page, you will find me right there. I was gonna change my photo, but you know what? Whatever. So this is my catalog. <laughs> um, I have a lot of stuff. If you've been following me for a while, you know how much I have accumulated all these designs. Something that might be a little bit different this time is I have a lot more designs. <laughs> it takes me a really long time to get in the zone. Um, and we're doing a lot of exclusives. Like we're have, I am participating in three stamp rallies. Like rip me, you know. Fun. 
Oh really? Yeah. With Chevron. Sushi roll. Chevron. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the? What is that? Regular fries. Bro. They just need some creativity on top. It's a video. Hey. And then let's see the back. Oh my god! Yo, how, how do you run with this um, oh. these devices? There's a bigger one on the very, it's very high though. There, 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 um, oh, you are, you got a there is selectively. That looks Got very your, dry. Oh. Your finger. It's all thick. Yo, is that? Oh, wait. Thick? Oh, the rind is really thick. Yeah, what the? <laughs> oh, that smells really good. It's just like a thick rind. Should we all eat one? <laughs> just eat a lemon? Tequila shot. Why did you eat it like an orange? Aaron going from zero to hero. Like zero to 50. To 100. Hide my panda dark circles. No one will ever know she's dying inside. <laughs> Is Aaron getting ready? This is our storefront. And Matt's stalking.
Yeah. Whoa, look at this ribbing. <laughs> That's the I'm the prettiest. I'm the prettiest princess at TwitchCon. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> on my really really old iPhone because I ran out of space on my current iPhone. I finally had enough time to process last weekend and let me just say that the event was I give it like an a hundred out of ten. A thousand percent would love to return next year if I am able to get in. I definitely felt um, a lot better at this convention than I did at a lot of other anime cons and I think it's because the community was just so strong. I had met a lot of streamer friends prior to this when I was streaming a lot in 2021. A lot of my close friends are because of Valorant and streaming so this kind of uh, this event was like a true culmination of just everything from the past two or three years for me which was really nice. I met a lot of people that I had interacted with online before that I haven't been able to meet in person. They got to see my booth. It was just such a wholesome experience. Twitch treats their artist alley very well, in my opinion. Um, I can't speak for everyone else's experience, but we were in, even in the far corner near the washroom, there wasn't that much foot traffic, uh, but 
think that the experience was still so great. I was able to be part of three stamp rallies this year. It was a Valorant stamp rally, an art streamer stamp rally, and also just like a stamp rally for a block. So this probably brought in even more people to our booth. A lot of people were coming by, giving us a follow, or just like purchasing something, but also just the, the quality of the interactions because of the streaming community was like A++. S tier, if you will. People are more willing to chat with you about your work. I've never been part of such a huge event, so it was just amazing. That I can't even say anything else much more than that, to be honest. It was really fun as an attendee, but I think that on the artist side this time, it was a totally different experience in like the best way possible. The amount of networking that I ended up doing this weekend, just like in a in a nice way, like. I was able to speak to so many different people about our interests like gaming and just like anything under the sun because there's such a diverse amount of people at this event um people a lot of people are live streaming as well so you kind of have to be comfortable with that but obviously to apply you need to stream anyways so it's something that shouldn't be surprising if you apply to this i also had four people helping me um, which definitely affected how I experienced this event, but I specifically made sure that there was enough people to swap in and out because I wanted to make sure that everyone was able to experience and have fun at this convention. And honestly, without their help, I think that would have been such a great weekend because our dynamic with each other was great. Um, it was really fun, like we got to meet a lot of big streamers that we really like, you know, like the Valorant streamers and people visit our booth and just, I was surprised that they wanted to buy stuff from us, to be honest. It's always a really exciting experience to know that people like your art and being at this convention was just a reminder to me that there is someone out there that does like what I do. <laughs> it's a bit weird to say that, but I think as artists, people get very self-conscious, including myself. So it was a really nice experience because of that. I really hope that I can go next year again, but again, it's not up to me. Another high point for me, <laughs> I'm sorry, I have to, I have to fangirl, but like another high point for me was meeting Julian. Um, if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, basically what happened was like, I met him at a Riot Games Mixer on Friday and I told him to visit my booth. Um, he is one of my favorite content creators of all time, him and Jenna. He came on Saturday while I was in line to meet Maya and Alvea's Sanctuary and I was really upset. <laughs> I was really upset but what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna leave the line, right? So my friend and my partner like gave them hats and stuff like that and they took pictures and then I was I was really upset but also I was just happy that he stopped by because he really didn't have to do that and then the next day I was working just by myself at the booth and then my friend came up to help and then his manager came and tapped my friend on the shoulder and said that they felt really bad that they couldn't see me the day before and thank goodness I was there because I was just like gobsmacked okay I was like oh my god like you came back for me oh my god and so I was like at a loss for words and we took a picture together and he was just so sweet like I found that all of the people that we met were just so sweet even though they're like super popular and like getting mobbed by people at all times so shout out to Julian you should go watch his content <laughs> I'm gonna put like a slideshow later on and probably like some videos of people's streams that we were in. We would just run into people and just like ask for pictures and stuff and ask them to visit us in Artist Alley. But yeah, a lot of them did, so I'm really thankful for that. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I don't know how much information it gave about actually vending in Artist Alley, to be honest, because I missed out on a lot of the setup stuff, but I just I just think it was a really great weekend. It's like a, it was a dream come true for me. Let's be real here. I never thought that I would be able to fill a 10 by 10 foot space by myself, let alone at like one of the biggest events at San Diego Convention Center. So I'm super blessed, super grateful. Thank you Twitch for this experience. If you stayed to the end of this video, thank you so much. You can find me on all my socials at Deadly Bear Hug. Super easy to find. And I will see you guys in the next video.
bye bye Thank you. Oh, oh, that's, that's, cool. <laughs> that's cool. What's the, what's the second color? Second color do you want? Uh, let's say like yellow. Yellow? Yellow? Oh, wow, we're so lucky. <laughs> Guys, I'm live streaming. Here, wait, let me turn it around. <laughs> so cute. So I bought something from Jean uh, Dog. Oh yeah. But she had the bunny thing. Oh my god, you bought this? Yeah. I saw so many people. So I right. bought this clip. That's a big ass clip. And it's custom, right? Yeah. Custom. And, and this is from Anne. It's Klein. It's Klein. You know it is what it is. Like it's It's going up. Do I need it? I don't really need it. I'll get something small. Excuse me, do you have a pen I could borrow really quick? Thank you for letting me borrow it. Thank you. I'll be right back. Thank you. I'm here. Thank you so much. I see that you're being incognito, but can I get those? Oh my god, yes, of course. I would love to. Oh, sturdy. Okay. Nice to meet you. Oh. Oh, no worries. Thank you. Have you a great day. Oh, a sticker. Oh, he's so cute. Oh my gosh, he says TwitchCon. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for letting me borrow your no pen. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Just nice too much. Yes. Bye, bye bye. Thank you. Oh, yay. Hi! Nice to meet you! Yes, of course! Oh, really? Oh my god! I would, I would love that! Thank you for the hat! Oh my gosh, I will wear the hat! Thank you! No, no, don't worry! Nice to meet you! Yes! I, that, you are so sweet! Oh, oh, no, it's on! No, no, it's on! Sorry! Thank you! Oh my god, no problem. The hat is so cute. Thank you. Our third hat from Deadly Bear Hub. And it's a little bear. Oh. Okay. Okay, let's try this one. <gasps> so cute, bitch! Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm literally a hat girly now. Okay. Wow, th these are all gray hats. Cute! Thank you. Wait, should we just start off like in each one? Hello. They gave me mm -hmm. hats yesterday. Oh. Oh, wait, it's a mochi and kuro. Yeah, we get like a mochi and kuro sticker. <laughs> Aww. It's adorable. Can I work with you guys? Yeah, of course. I you guys no, you're good. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Of course. Uh, Catwoman. Ooh. Actually, I'm down for the Catwoman. I'm down for the Catwoman. Uh, Jet Kunai. I'm, uh, what is the... Uh... The three. So, like, the three Three? Names. Okay. And then maybe also... Oh, Clove. Ooh. The Clove one may be decent. Oh. Yori. All right, gang. Should I? Okay, these are the three we're getting for Tyson. Yeah. Cute. This is my, this is my shirt. Bye. Of course. Amazing. Thank you we so back. much. Yeah. The life of uh, IRL stream. And then this is the little boom bot trinket that I got from Artist Alley. Here's more stuff. Um, little Raina Eye from Artist Alley. I got Wide Joy. Look, they have Wide Joy. A little KO knife. Oh, I got this free fan from Deadly Bear Hug. It's cute. I could actually use this. It's really hot in my room. 
but yeah guys i took part in another stamp rally i don't know if you guys have ever been to an artist alley but sometimes uh some of the booths will work together where if you buy stuff at each of their booths they'll give you a prize at the end so i did this valorant battle pass stamp rally uh and uh the grand prize was actually really cool it is wingman diffusing and you could spin the different utility that's about to kill him isn't that so cute and kind of morbid but also really cute yeah i thought this was really cute when i saw that this was the prize i was like oh i have to also got this uh I forgot what the I forgot what the Molly is called from Gecko, but I got this keychain as well. I thought it was cute. I got this Yoru keychain for for uh, for Sean. I thought it was very fitting. Got this sticker of a Sage ba uh, Band-Aid, which is cute. This is my favorite thing I think I got. Look at how fucking cute this is. This is my favorite thing I got. This, like, it's so cute. So please focus. Please focus. So cute. So when I was meeting people at Artist Alley, they had this Valorant battle pass. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, hello, I need a Valorant battle pass. Like, I want to complete a Valorant battle pass. Are you kidding me? So basically, you had to spend $10 at seven different shops. I went on an adventure. The second I saw that I could get this, I, oh my God. I started running around Artist Alley. Isn't it so cute? Okay. It's Wingman and it's got a wheel spin. I have like a bunch of Valorant stuff. I just thought it was like so unique and cool. Like, and it spins, it spins, it spins. It spins, it spins, it spins. Stamps, look at how cute the stamps are too. This is super, super cute. So that I could win this.